hometown heroes coming together to support students. Add a sprinkle of friendly competition and you have an event that's a win-win all around. Now what we're talking about is the Warwick 5K Hero Run. With us this afternoon to share the details, um, we have the Warwick Development Specialist, Heather Trader, along with the Executive Director of the Warwick Foundation, Stephanie Ryder. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having, for having us. us. So tell me what the Warwick Foundation is. What does it do? We, in a, in a very, in a nutshell, okay. we raise money for our students and programs at Warwick. So we are a nonprofit and right. we, um, we have a number of events during the year. We reach out to the community because as you know, we are the community's college. Mm -hmm. So um, we raise money for our students. Awesome. And one of the ways yeah. you do that is with this Warwick 5K. Tell us about the event. Yes, this 5K started back in 2011 and um, it was most well known as the Run Walk for Warwick. Mm -hmm. um, but this year we have revamped it and we have a new logo as you can see. Um, and it is the 5K Hero Run. So all the similar things, but we felt like we really wanted to focus on our frontline, um, our law enforcement officers, our EMS and our, um, our fire safety. Um, all of which that we, all of which we have programs for at Warwick. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize we have all of these programs wow. at Warwick. So this is an opportunity to highlight those and to really show kids in the area too who our heroes are. So what we're doing new this year as well is we are having a kids hero run and obstacle course. Oh. So we're hoping with the help of you all that we can promote this event and get not only more runners signed up, but get some kids to come out with their yeah. families and their loved ones and just participate in a great day. And get the bug, see the, see the hero, what yeah. a hero. Yeah, okay, what so, a hero really is. So yeah. with that, let me ask you, um, first responder team cup challenge. Yes. How does this work? Okay, so I'm just going to put this out there for all of our first responders, our EMS, our law enforcement, and our fire safety, the John Moses, and if any of you know who John <laughs> Moses is, he is issuing, issuing a challenge to all of these agencies because oh. this is a competition that's been going on for a long time and currently Salisbury Police Department holds the trophy, which is quite a trophy. Um, it's competition between the different agencies. Right. They put in teams, they compete against each other, and then they get bragging rights and they get to take home this trophy well, for the year. Well, everybody knows so, how first responder likes yes. to brag, so this is perfect. <laughs> but they also like to compete. This is, has do. to be fun to watch, too, a it friendly is. competition. So they run at the same time as all the other 5K mm -hmm. participants, but it's teams of two to three, and their times get added together and divided up by the number of people in their team. And it keeps going back and forth between um, the Wacomico County Sheriff's Office and Salisbury Police Department, but this year we're inviting all first responders. So we wanna get some more competition in there to see who can take the trophy. <laughs> and I just wanna interject too, there's also a two mile walk. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's a great opportunity to get out, come on campus. Yeah. We have a gorgeous campus, by the way, really, mm -hmm. yes. and um, participate. And that's what's yeah. nice about it is, it, it is if you're worried about your kids running or whatever, it's all contained mm -hmm. there yes. within the campus. And that's a nice run. Yes. yes. Yeah. And then after our kids run, our kids hero run, we're inviting everyone to stay because we have a family fun day. So mm -hmm. you can pay $5 bring your kids, they can participate in the obstacle course and run, and then you can stay. We're gonna have amusements, we're gonna have live music, we're gonna have games and free food, mm -hmm. so how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? I yeah. know. Okay, so you, you said that the funds go to the students. Yes. Mm -hmm. How big is the need there? It's, you know, Jimmy, it's growing too, because what we're finding is not only are we having students who need scholarship support, yeah. but they also need more of a holistic support. Mm -hmm. So they may need help paying a rent or paying a car payment or a, a just a whole myriad of things. Right. Mm -hmm. um, anything that's impeding our students to getting to school and getting their education, the foundation is stepping in and we're trying to help and address those needs. So we're finding our role is expanding, so the need's growing. Yep. That's a shame, but it's good. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so well, the, the 5K is October 7th. Yes, what Saturday, ex October 7th. Registration starts at 8. The race begins at 9 o'clock. You can register at um, warwick.edu slash 5K. Mm -hmm. 
The entry fee is $25. That's until uh, up through October 4th. After that, it goes to $35. All right. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, and we hope to see you. We're going to see you. I, you're going to see me there. I'm going to help climb with the Eastern Shore Running Club. Ooh, yes. thank, awesome. you. Thank, thank you. Thank nice. you so much.